Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis and welcome back to Coffee Computers and More. And today we're going to show you how to get started with your Xbox Series X and how to transfer your profile from your current Xbox system over to your new Series X using the application. So the first thing you want to do is go over to either the Android store, I don't know if it's the Play Store, and the uh, App Store for Apple and get your Xbox application uh, downloaded, your app downloaded and then get yourself signed into it and you're going to just basically open up to a home screen that looks kind of something like this and we're going to follow the instructions and see what it tells us to do so yesterday we did a little unboxing of the system and uh, today we're going to show you how to get it uh, up and running get everything pushed over and see what we're supposed to do with the external hard drive from the old Xbox system and go from there <clears throat> so the instructions say to connect the power cord and HDMI to the new console which we did over there sorry about the light balance here guys I got the bright TV on and everything in the background um, press the Xbox button on the front of the console to turn it on so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick okay it says download or go to the Xbox app and then tap set up a console or search for setup and enter the code shown on your TV screen so we're gonna go ahead and switch over now from the old Xbox which is currently running and online over to the new system and we'll go from there alright guys so the uh, Series X is giving me a little 10 digit code up there on the uh, TV screen and over here again we're running the app we're gonna go ahead and push this little console button up here on the top next to the next to the uh, bell and it's gonna say it looks like you haven't set up a console yet I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera click on get started set up a new console and I'm gonna punch the code in that's on the uh, the screen right now Okay, so I clicked on uh, connect to console. It says Xbox wants, Xbox wants to join your Wi-Fi network. Xbox set up and it's got the number on it. I'm going to hit join. At this point, I may have to get my uh, Xbox on the Wi-Fi. It says unable to join the network. Xbox set up. Okay, so for some reason, it's not joining. All right, so I switched over my phone to the 5G network here, or the 5G wireless bandwidth on the Wi-Fi. We'll see what happens here. Connect to console, connecting to your console to continue join Wi-Fi, join, unable to join the network. Okay, so that didn't work, and what we'll do is we'll try to, I mean, maybe we're going to have to get the uh, Xbox on the Wi-Fi now, so we'll just go ahead and do this, checking your connection. All right, we may try the uh, app startup thing all over again here. Add a wireless connection. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do this, punch in my password, I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so again, it didn't say anything about having to get the Xbox on my wireless connection. I thought my phone was going to connect to the Xbox, and it didn't. I tried the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth, the 5 gigahertz bandwidth, neither one works. So we're doing just a standard install. We'll see if we end up going back to the app at any point here. So we got to do an update, and when that's done, we will come right back. Oh, here we go. It says speed through the rest of the setup with the Xbox mobile app. Okay, well, that's new. All right, so we will go ahead and get the camera fired up, and we'll see what this does. Okay, we're opening up uh, Xbox and Safari right now. And again, this is something that you could run into when you're doing this. That's why we're just walking through all the steps. Okay, we're going to open up Xbox on the uh, web browser on the phone here. So, by the way, there's only six characters that are up on the screen right now. And down at the bottom, you can have a, a button that you press that says my code has six, or I'm sorry, has six characters. I click that, and now it's giving me the option to put the six characters in that match what's up on the screen because I no longer have 10 as an option, so I'm going to put those in real quick. All right, I went ahead and punched it in. We're going to push next, and we'll see what happens. Choose a power mode. Uh, we'll do instant on for now. Okay. One second about my privacy settings here. And it says, do you want to automatically be signed in when you turn on your Xbox? I'm going to enable instant sign on for now, and then I'll set it up so that it requires a password. Um, I'm going to put on automatic updates. It's obviously downloading a, an update right now. Clicking on next. Turn on remote features. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn that on. And how we use your data is we collect uh, required diagnostic and other data necessary to keep your console safe. I'm just going to click on, click on next here. And then I always put no thanks because I don't want to send them my data. And hit next. And give your console a name. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm turning off uh, sending info and offers and publisher info and offers. You can sign up for that stuff if you want to, but it's just less I got to worry about for uh, for emails and so on. As you can see, the system has already restarted on its own. Okay, we're going to click on next again. If you want, you can select a console to copy your system settings. We're going to go ahead and take it from the. Ooh, I'm going to have to check and see which system I need to use here. Okay, it says that it's all done. And explore the app while your console updates. All right. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and set it up and see what happens here. I might skip any parts here if there's any delays or anything between now and getting set up. So again, I, when I did this, I just want to show you what could possibly happen if you try using the app from the start versus 
you know, just trying to go from what the system wants you to do. Okay, we'll let this apply the update and we will come right okay, back. Okay, so it says next, let's go on and see what happens. Okay, it's got my name on it. Uh, you enter this 10 character code in the setup on a console. Oh, there you go. This is when you set up the console on the Xbox app. Okay, so this is a little bit different now. Now we're going back to where we started. So I'm going to go back to, again, going back to the app one more time. Again, I thought I could start with this app, but apparently not. So, okay, we're going to click on get started. Okay, enter this uh, 10 character code in the set up a console section of the Xbox app. And then it says this will sign you in. And it's got my name and email address on it. <laughs> and uh, apply your settings. If you can't enter this code, sign in with your password. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set up a new console. And we'll punch in the code and come right okay, back. So we're back. It took me through the setup stuff again. I have no idea what's going on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just sign in with my password and see if the app actually did anything. I have no clue because it didn't progress past the uh, screen that you're seeing right now. So we'll come right okay, back. So right now it's just asking me if I want to go ahead and complete, com, um, continue with the best settings I can possibly get on the television. I just say keep display at 4K. And I did end up having to put my password in for my Microsoft account. Okay, it says you're all done setting up your Xbox. Time to play, take me home. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's got my username up there. It's got uh, important information, Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, okay, it looks like just about everything's here. So I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with my hard drive. <laughs> the hard drive that's on the, uh, the Xbox that I have right now, because I thought I had stuff saved on there. So I'm going to maybe look up and see what I'm supposed to do. I, I might just plug the hard drive into the, uh, the new system and just see if it recognizes it and uh, go from there. Okay, so I took my external hard drive off the old Xbox One uh, X over there on the right. And I've got it over here on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and just plug it into the new Series X and see what happens. It's the uh, hard drive enclosure. It's a Nico or an Eco enclosure. And I do have that external hard drive sitting on a piece of steel, basically, so that it'll <laughs> kind of act as a heat sink because that little hard drive can get pretty hot in that enclosure. Okay, it's plugged in right now, so we're going to go over to My Games and Apps. Uh, check for updates. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now it's showing everything. All right, so everything is now there, so I guess I can keep using it. Um, I was thinking that some of the higher-end 4K games and, and you know some of the newer games when they come out, they're not going to work with that external hard drive. So I uh, might have to figure something out at that point, look at getting one of those SSDs, but apparently we are all set up. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up some uh, Destiny 2 here real quick. Let me get the disc popped in, and we'll see how quick it loads. So that doesn't look the, uh, the best over there, having the little hard drive enclosure just kind of sitting up on top, but we'll do what we can. Okay, getting the game ready. Now, Destiny 2, anytime I would launch it, it would take like, like you know, three minutes of this, basically, just the loading screen. There we go. Looks like it's loading. Okay, we'll see how long it actually takes. Okay, let me hit on. Now, this is the first time we're playing it on this console, so it could take a minute. Okay, it's connecting. All right, so I'm going to let the camera run, but I'm going to cut out the uh, the waiting for you guys on the viewing end here. This generally would take like three minutes sometimes to get going, three and a half minutes in order to uh, get the game started. You just sit there and let this load screen go. Okay, so we're back. It's not playing that chimey music. This would usually take a couple minutes, and so we'll see how long this actually takes just to see if that solid state drive makes much of a difference. All right, so I don't know if this camera is really going to do justice, but I can tell there's definitely, this just looks, visually looks much better right now. It looks a lot sharper, a lot more crisp. And again, this isn't even running any kind of an enhanced version. This is just the increased performance of the Xbox One Series X itself. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm only at light level 1050. You don't have to criticize me. Okay, let's see how quick the scene loads here. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, we'll let the cutscene play, and then we'll bring it back for a few final words. Okay, so while the uh, Destiny 2 cutscene plays here, um, we'll do a little gameplay performance test on it to see how it looks, you know, run a few games through, see if I notice any difference on it. After I have a chance to play it for a couple days, we'll come back with a part three. So the main idea from, from this particular video is, you know, should you try using the app from the start? What should you do? My recommendation is that you save the time, skip the app setup as the first step, go right to the manual setup, sign in, put in your username and password, 
bring over your profile and then use the app if that's what it wants you to do. I don't know if that's going to port stuff over from Microsoft or what it does exactly. But uh, you'll save yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of frustration. Get your new console online as soon as you possibly can. You know, get the, get the wireless set up on it and uh, you should be good to go. So that was the basics. I was expecting a little bit easier setup, like a little one-stop. But with my phone unable to connect to the Xbox, I'm using an iPhone 7, all right? But again, trying the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz bands, I was expecting the phone to communicate with the Xbox and it didn't. These things happen. So anyway, this is what you can run into as you try to set up your um, Xbox Series X the first time. Anyway, guys, this is Travis. Uh, thanks for watching Coffee Computers and more. Uh, just to kind of take you step by step through setting up that Xbox Series X. If you got one, looks pretty sweet, man. The graphics look great. Uh, Everything looks nice and crisp, and we'll see how, how well it performs. All right, you guys, take care, have fun, be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.